That right there is me. You see that mullet? All right, that's just not any mullet. My mom permed that mullet. All right? Now, who in the world am I? Well, my name's Ketrick Newell, and uh, Renee has asked me to come and share just a little bit. We had a conversation the other day, and we were talking about addictions because there was a, uh, an event coming up, and she was asking me a little bit about it. And so she asked me, man, have I ever been addicted to drugs? And I said, no. She said, have you ever been addicted to, to, to alcohol? I said, no. And I said, but you know what? I, I have felt addicted, and I thought I was addicted. Um, from the fifth grade, my addiction started, and my addiction was pornography. And I began to talk to her about that, and, and she began to ask me a little bit more into that. And from the fifth grade all the way till I was 21, I didn't think I could be free. I thought that I was addicted. And I remember being in Nashville, Tennessee at a passion conference, and Louis Giglio is up on stage and he's preaching. And, 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 and one of the verses he said was in, was in Colossians 1, and it says, it's Christ in us is the hope of glory. And when I heard that verse, it was like God was speaking to me. And I fell to my knees from the beginning of that message all the way till the end. And God began to reveal to me that, Ketrick, you're not addicted. My word has never said you're addicted. And through the process, man, God took me through a time of sharing with me uh, uh, just a couple of different stories. But one being Moses and the moment when he stood before the Red Sea and he began... To, to cry out to God and say, God, please, please help me. Please take this away. Please, please do something. And God looks at Moses. I guess looks at him. <laughs> but I know he says to him, he said, Moses, why are you crying out to me? And the reason he's saying, Moses, why are you crying out to me is because he's saying, when I told you at the burning bush, I am the I am, that I'll be whatever you need me to be to get you from Pharaoh's hand to the promised land, that's what kind of God I am. He's looking at Moses and saying, you need to stop telling me about your Red Sea because you've talked your Red Sea up so big and you need to start speaking to your Red Sea about who I am. I'm bigger than that Red Sea is what God was saying to him. And the same thing is true with us. We've talked these things up, whether, whether it's pornography, whether it's drugs, or whether it's whatever you struggle with, you've talked it up to be bigger than your God. And my question to you is, how big is your God? Because last time I checked, Jesus said that his name is above every name. And his name is above pornography. His name is above addiction. His name is above any drug that you deal with. His name is above all of that. But it's because we need to stop taking, we need to take our focus off of that thing that we think is so big and start putting it on the one who is bigger than that thing and start telling that thing to go away because our God is bigger. And that's what Moses did that day. He began to tell his Red Sea who his God was. And in that, he did what God said he could do. And the same is true for you and I. I am free today from pornography. And you can be free from whatever that thing is in your life because Jesus' name is above it. You have all the Jesus you're ever going to have. Take it, run with it, and live out of what he's given you.